Hi guys, today's recipe we are making chicken stew. Why is it that your stew is not always dry or tasty? Just sit back and watch this video. You will learn a new method of making a chicken stew, even if you have been watching it before, you have not seen this method. So enjoy the video. So here I have my full chicken trying to cut it. I'm on walai. I don't know how to cut chicken, but today I learn them by fire by force. You can see as I flip them up and down to show say I know sabia. <laughs> Finally, I don't win amo, so it's now time to cut my fresh fish because I'll be using chicken and fresh fish in this recipe. So it's not time to cut this one now. Uh, Offense seller for me. I've been cutting it before. Pe -pe -pe -pe. I don't finish everything. Cut, cut. So in a clean pot, I'll add the chicken and the fish and add my mixed spice, salt, seasoning cubes, onions, ginger and garlic. I'll add a little bit of water and stir, 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 put my bay leaf, cover it and allow the thing to go through heat process while I blend the fresh tomato behind the camera. Eight minutes later, the meat is all. 80% done so now I will go in with my local spices because I always like to use local spices Yes, in one of my videos, I will show you how I do this local spices So I'll mix everything together and blend. That's it. In a clay pot, I'll add my vegetable oil Allow it to heat up a little bit of salt, ginger, garlic and turmeric and my bay leaf I know they mix up. Then I will add a little bit of the mixed spice stir and allow it to heat Go in with my onions and keep some hot Fry for two minutes. Then I will now go in with my fresh tomato, which I've already blended behind the camera, and steam for some seconds to reduce the water content. So after adding the fresh tomato, I will stir and allow it to heat for five minutes. Come back and stir again. I will continue this process until the tomato are well fried. Look at it. To show you that the tomato is already well fried, you will have enough oil on top of the tomato. It's a sign that the tomato is well fried. Next, I will go in with my tomato paste, the remaining ginger, garlic and turmeric, onions, then the remaining mixed spice, I will stir everything together and allow it to heat for another five minutes. Please, if you are watched to this end, that means you are interested in the video. Do well to subscribe if you are a first timer. And if you are a returning subscriber, please do well to share this video, like and drop a comment. Thank you. Five minutes later, I will go in with my stock water. My blended crayfish. This crayfish is absolutely optional. If you are the type that doesn't like crayfish, you can skip this process. Then I'll add my proteins, give it a final and gentle stir, cover and allow to cook for three to four minutes. And my stew is ready. Please do well to try this recipe and give us a feedback. We'll be glad to welcome it. Please do well to like the video, share to your family and friends. And if today is your first time of coming across my video, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all and see you all.